morning and welcome to Business 2010 Business Professionalism. This class is being recorded for the Monday sessions since we do not have a, court, a class on the first week of the semester nor do we have it on the second week due to Martin Luther King Day. So you will be watching these videos in order to keep up with the curriculum so that we can stay on track throughout the semester. First thing I'd like you to do is to make sure that you have iClicker installed because when we do get to meet in person in the classroom, we will be using iClicker as an attendance in order to take attendance each week. So when you go in to install your iClicker, please make sure that you pay attention to which section of Business 2010 you're currently enrolled in and that way you'll have everything set for when we get to meet each other in person. So each week we're going to start with our agenda, our welcome, and the agenda for the day. We'll also go over important information. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, introductions, the syllabus, some important dates that may be useful. Also we're going to talk a little bit about Canvas and our reflective journals, our final projects, and how the grading will take place in this course. So let me first start by introducing myself. My name is Professor Monica Christensen and I am the lead lecturer for Business 2010. My office is located over in Chandler L. Burns Hall. I'm Office 261. I do keep office hours on Wednesdays from 1030 to 12. You're welcome to stop by any time that I'm not in class and I will meet with you. However, on, the, on Wednesdays, I will be in my office specifically to hold meetings. Uh, I'm also available via email at any time. I have an office phone number and it is listed here. You're welcome to call it. I am constantly on the go. It's probably not the best method of getting in touch with me. I would say that email is the best way to get in touch with me or in person. I will stay after class every week for a little bit so that you can ask me any questions at that time as well. Like with most classes, this course does have an introduction section, and we're going to be looking more at an elevator pitch for our introductions this week. For an elevator pitch, your pitch should be a short recap of who you are, what you do. You need to be persuasive. Even though it's a short pitch, the elevator speech should be compelling enough to spark the listener's interest so that they want to learn a little bit more about your ideas, the organization, your background, everything that you have have that's going for you. So right here we have a sample of an elevator pitch. So this could be delivered in many ways. However, here's an example. Hi, my name is Monica Christensen. I'm a sophomore at Clemson University. It is great to meet you. Since you work with XYZ International, I figured you'd be interested to know that I participated in the Oxford University summer internship where I was able to enhance my leadership skills to build my education here at Clemson. Simple, short, it gives them a little bit of insight into you. You can mention organizations that you're members of. You can mention any extracurriculars that you do. You can mention any leadership forums that you've participated in and taken part in. Just something short that gives them a blip into why you are an interesting person that they may want to talk to more about with their organization. So knowing that these are the forms of elevator pitches that we're looking for, very short, it's less than a minute, it's very quick. When we get to our action items, you're going to see that this week I am requesting that you do record a short elevator pitch and upload that as part of your assignment. The other part of that assignment is going to be just to provide a transcript. You can have it actually generated through your video or you're welcome to type it up on your own, but I do need you to submit to Canvas the actual video of your elevator pitch and the transcript from your elevator pitch. So business professionalism, that is what Business 2010 is all about. So this is a one hour course that builds on the foundations that were established in Business 1010 to further prepare you for your careers in the business world. 
To be successful in business, students need to develop a reputable professional brand and develop your communication skills. To participate in today's global economy, students need to communicate effectively with diverse individuals from a variety of different backgrounds, cultures, and communications. Communication, presentation, and persuasion skills are also imperative for success in the business work workforce and business 2010 will enhance and build on these skills. So this course is set up to build on workforce readiness for the College of Business students. It is set up as a sophomore level course and is required for anyone who is entering on the 22 or 20, 22-23 catalog or thereafter. So your syllabus is going to cover pretty much the same information that most classes are going to have. It's going to talk about your meeting times and your locations, the instructor's information with the office number and email for quick reference. I would suggest pulling your syllabus and reading through all of the fine print in it. It does talk about technology issues. It talks about um, the course description and gives an outline of what you're looking at through your courses. With that, you have your university resources, you have your attendance policy, which for this course it is that you are to be in attendance every week. When we look at that, that's where we're going to be pulling in the eye clicker. And so you will lose points for not attending course for not attending class periods. We'll talk it talks about academic integrity and the learning environment that's expected for this course. When you get really into the syllabus, it talks about the course goals and the learning outcomes, and I find these to be very important. You'll be able to demonstrate the behaviors that are appropriate for presenting yourselves in a professional setting, including demonstration of business work ethics, attendance, professional dress, punctuality, collaboration, character, and organizational skills. You'll also be able to demonstrate behaviors that are appropriate for a professional setting, including written and verbal communications, etiquette, netiquette, and meeting protocols. There are several other learning objectives that are on this list, and I do want you to pay close attention to them. A big one that I do want to point out is that you'll be developing your personal professional brand throughout this course. Everything that we do will build on each other, and you will be able to present yourself in a professional manner at the end of this semester. Finally, we have the learning environment that is expected. I do expect you to arrive at a class on time. By on time, I mean before it starts. Um, iClicker will start 10 minutes prior to the course starting, and it will remain active until 10 minutes after it starts. Any time after that, you will be counted absent. So if you do arrive 20 minutes late to class, you will not be counted present for that class. I do expect all assignments to be completed on time, and that includes assignments, journals, final projects. I will let you know that all assignments will be opened from the beginning, so if there is a time that you are going to be missing class, um, you are welcome to go ahead and work ahead if it is applicable, if it is something that you need to come to class before you can complete that assignment, then you would need to speak with me first. However, all assignments will be opened from the beginning of the semester. Be prepared to come in and participate in the discussions and activities within this class. There are some hands-on activities that will be going on this semester, and I do expect everyone to put their full energies into these because participation will play a role in those grades. Um, make sure to silence and put away cell phones when in the classroom. We don't want to disturb what is going on within the classroom with cell phones going off. You are welcome to bring your laptop to class and there are occasions where we actually will use the laptops during the course. However, if it is a lecture time, I do expect the laptops to be closed and for active listening to be occurring. And I want you to be curious. This is a class that is full of information from a wide variety of different outlets. And so ask questions and be involved within the class. If you're not comfortable asking those questions in the class, feel free to send me an email and then I can address it in the following class as time 
allows. Additionally, we have what our layout for the assignments. So this is going to be posted in Canvas as well as your due dates. Those will be posted in Canvas as well. For Monday classes, your assignments will be due Sunday night by 11.59 p.m. prior to the, the following class. You will be working on what was covered in class. You have a week to complete it, and then you would turn it in before the following class. So the first thing that you will have is going to be that elevator pitch, and it will be worth five points. This is on a 100-point scale. You will have six reflective journals, and we're going to talk a little bit more about those. Um, those are going to be five points each. Then you also have assignments that are, also, that are going to be worth five points each, and then a huge chunk of your grade will be based on your final project and that's going to be broken down into a couple different parts. You're going to get five points for choosing your presentation topics, five points for um, the rough draft of your presentation and the information that goes with it, and then you will have the final 15 points on the actual presentation of of your final project, as well as attending the presentations of final projects of people within your class. Now, that being said, there will be points deducted for classes that are missed because we are moving at a fast pace every week is almost its own individual island of information. It is going to be important to be present every week, so you will lose points if you are not in attendance. So let's look a little bit at the Business 1010 classes. Uh, there's a block for each lesson that'll be covered, and they're presented in an order that the classes will be taught. So first, we're going to go over course information, which is this video that we are participating in today. We are also going to be looking at professional brand, business work ethics. We're going to have two weeks on etiquette because one of those is going to be um, dedicated to strictly online etiquette or netiquette. We'll look at intercultural competence. We will have a guest speaker that comes in. We're going to talk a little bit about the Rutland Institute of Ethics and also the TIDE conference, which you will be in, you will be attending this semester. And then we're going to look at communication skills, verbal, nonverbal skills. We'll talk about the final project, which will take four weeks. And then you're going to look a little bit at some minor business minors, and then we'll have the course evaluation. So we will only meet 15 times. Therefore, I want to reemphasize that it is important to be consistent in your attendance. There are only 50 minutes um, for each of these sections. So it's also imperative that you show up on time. When you do go in and look at your syllabus, you're going to see a format that's very similar to what you saw when you took Business 1010. You'll see the class schedule. It will outline the week that we'll be working in. For example, the arrows here are pointing to the week of January 30th through February 5th. During that week, we'll be talking about netiquette and the assignment that will be due after you have attended class, so it will be due for the following Sunday night, um, will be to complete the professional email assignment, and that will be worth five points. So I will always be describing the assignments that will be necessary for that week within the course period, and then you will have until Sunday night to complete them. This table is from the syllabus, and it is very important. It includes the dates, the topics, the overview of assignments, and when the assignments are due, and they point to the values of each one. The arrows like I said, in this exact example, are pointing at week four, so you can go through and translate all of the other weeks on your syllabus in the same manner. Now, as far as Canvas, you can go into Canvas. I will be sending out announcements through Canvas that may or may not include links. You will find your weekly assignments in Canvas. This is where you're going to turn in your journals, your assignments. You'll find some support materials. And if you do have any questions about assignments or about the instructions of anything, then please feel free to reach out, and I would be more than happy to clarify. If there is anything that you may have a question on, that means that there are other people that possibly have the same questions. 
So the reflective journals that I was talking about, you're going to have six reflective journals to write throughout the course. Each one falls at the end of a new section of information. This allows you to kind of recap the information that was learned and organize your thoughts about the material and how you can use it in the future. Now, for the purposes of our reflective journals, in order to keep them moving forward and make them beneficial to you, we are going to be using the DIEP method, which is to describe, interpret, evaluate, and plan. Um, you will find before each journal a page that looks similar to what you see here on this slide, and it gives some examples of what each of these mean so that you can go through and apply it to what you have just learned, what we have just talked about in class, and you need to make sure that you are including each of these four areas. Now you are welcome to include a fifth area and give a reflection or a summary that's in addition to this, but the, for a minimum, you need to have at least these four key points that you are talking about. And for each of these, I'm not talking one sentence, I need at least a paragraph for each of these. You will need to put a cover page on there so that I am aware of which week, which assignment, and which topic we were talking about it when you are doing this reflective journal. So the last thing that I wanna talk about is the final project. This is a huge part of your grade. When we look at the final project, we will be taking four weeks in order to do that. We will have two weeks prep time within the classroom, and then we will have two weeks where we will um, actually present our final projects. Within that, you will have Thanksgiving does fall within that time frame, so it really turns into five weeks of prep time that you will have for this project. So what is it? The final project is going to be a poster presentation that will be done in pairs. So the first thing that you're going to do is you will choose your partner and then you'll choose two topics. Throughout the semester, we will be talking about anything from intercultural communication to work ethics, to teamwork, to uh, business professionalism. <coughs> Excuse me business professionalism, you're going to be talking about a lot of topics and with those, keep in mind that you will have this final project. So when it comes time, you're gonna choose two topics that we've talked about throughout the semester. For example, you may choose ADA compliance and professional emails. You take those two topics and you're going to mesh them together into a poster. This poster is going to have text, pictures, graphs, charts, references, it's going to be a combination of the topics that you have chosen. Then we will have two days set aside. Half the class will present their posters in a poster presentation. Um, it's not going to be bring your poster up to the front and then present. We'll have all posters set up around the room. The other class will work their way around and listen to the presentations from from each of the groups. Then the following week we will switch and the people who have not presented will have the opportunity to present while the others are walking around and asking questions and learning about those posters. So there is a lot that will go into these presentations. There's a lot that will go into these posters. We will be providing the easels and we will be providing the board that will go behind the poster. However, you are responsible for creating and bringing the poster in for presentation. So that's a glimpse at the final project and we are going to talk about it a lot more throughout the semester. However, it is something to keep in mind as we go through all of the different weeks and the different faucets of this semester. And finally, we have our action items. So for Monday classes, your first action item is going to be to record your elevator pitch and upload that to Canvas with your written transcript. That is how I'm going to be taking attendance for this first class. You're also responsible for completing the only quiz for this semester, which is the syllabus quiz. And that's to let me know that you have read it and that you do understand what the respons your responsibilities are for this course. Now, for next week, we will have another recorded video. And then on the third week of class, I am really hoping to see you guys in person and so that we will be able to interact and have a great semester.
I think that this was a lot of information. However, you are welcome to go back and review this at any time so that if there's anything that you have questions on, you can feel free to email me and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. All right. Thank you.